Have you ever heard of topping your peppers and how it increases yield and yada, yada, yada? Well, I'm here to actually tell you that that may not always be the case. For those of you that do not know, topping simply involves the removal of the main stem. So if this is our main stem, all we're gonna do is give this top a pinch. This will encourage branching of our plant and some theoretical reasons why it's beneficial, but universities are actually beginning to disagree with this. So there are some theoretical benefits to topping and why this myth pervades in the gardening space. The first reason for topping is it does encourage bushing or branching out of the plant. This bushing or branching will give us more foliage and therefore more photosynthesis. Now the idea of more photosynthesis obviously translates into more fruits and more more flowering and you'd think that would be the case but a lot of studies coming out are actually showing the complete opposite or a different than intended result that most gardeners have. Now what I will say when we do top is that it does increase the stem strength and that is one thing that was noted in the research. So one of the studies I looked at was actually based out of California and I picked out three very key attributes that we tended to see in the plants. The plants involved ones that were non-pruned and allowed to just grow one single stock, some pruned down to only two stems, some pruned to three stems, and some pruned to four stems. What this means is that if the initial topping was done, it would grow two stems, and then another topping would be done after that. So top here, top here, which will cause another two stems and another two stems. And then to get three stems, just one of the two on one of those branches was removed. So this meant the plants were only topped a total of two times with varying levels of pruning taking place throughout the growing season. So one of the first things that was noted is that the pruned plants did have a thicker stem. That thicker stem may be beneficial to some folks out there. For example, if you're in a high traffic area, an area that is incredibly exposed to the elements such as wind, then you may want to consider topping. This will allow you to have a very strong plant that can survive against mechanical manipulation without the use of staking or with the support of staking. So this is something to keep in mind if you are in that situation and reasons why you may top. Now the strongest out of all of these were the two stem plants, meaning these were the plants that were topped one single time when the plant was beginning to grow up as a seedling. So what I showed at the beginning of the video, that would be approximately when you would top this plant to achieve that thicker stem. The next thing was noted is larger fruits. So the plants that were topped actually developed larger fruit. The fruit that was developed in this case was California Wonders, which are simply a bell pepper. So in that case, we want a bigger sized fruit. If we're doing hot peppers, it may not be as much of a concern to us, but when we're talking bell peppers, we want the big guys, the nice, beautiful, uniform ones. And so because of this, for a market gardener or someone who wants marketable fruits and vegetables, the topping of plants may be advantageous. Now, there was no huge statistical difference between the different forms of topping. However, the three stem plant did come out on top when it came to the size of said fruit. However, a big however here is that the volume of fruit overall, meaning total fruit weight on the plant, the highest was the non-topped plant or the non-pruned plant. So this means the non-pruned plant had the greatest number of fruits that made it to maturity and that greatest number of fruits may not have been the biggest in size but were numerous and cumulatively higher in weight and by a decent amount. So if you're just looking for pure volume by weight and not necessarily marketability or pruning pretty fruit, then not topping your plant may be the way to go. And this is in particular for those bell peppers. Now, if we're looking at jalapenos, habaneros, you name it, binko peppers, you don't want to top because you want a large number. The size doesn't matter. You want a large volume of peppers and therefore not topping is going to be your best bet. Now, the highest number of marketable fruit was actually the four stem plant. So that's the one that was topped twice and allowed to branch out as needed. This had the highest volume of marketable fruit that could be sold and no one would question it by its shape, size, and look. So what does this mean you should do? Well, unless you're looking for natural stem support, I actually wouldn't top my peppers regardless if I'm growing in a cold 
cold climate or I'm growing in a warm climate because it's very clear that it doesn't give us any advantage. I've spoken to a number of pepper growers about this. Mighty Mustache is one. Um, Chilipino has spoken about it before. And the topping of peppers really isn't something that they do very often because they don't see those benefits either. And so it's kind of funny that a study has shown that the benefits don't exist, but also very all consuming. I guess you could say plant growers in the pepper community also have just naturally noted qualitatively on their own that it's not working or it doesn't yield the same. So not topping is a way I'm going to continue to go ahead unless of course there's disease or damage then I will go with the flow. These ones here where I am going to top the grow light was a little bit too close so I've got some gnarly looking leaves so I will be topping these ones but the other ones I will not be that are beginning to germinate such as these guys right here they're not going to get topped. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below if you top your peppers or not.